Here we see the uh, the suspicious building. We've got uh, reports from the neighbors that there's been a lot of uh, comings and goings. Um, even though marijuana is legal now in Canada, this is still a suspected grow up and uh, therefore uh, the product is legal to use, but this is, uh, this is someone trying to avoid paying their taxes. So, uh, Let's move in. Yeah. And uh, uh oh, there's trouble. Oh, it's just D Gens. <laughs> How's it going? It's happening. Having coffee. So we're, uh, guess we're all staying at Ivan's tonight. Yeah, probably. We're gonna <laughs> shut down the bridge. <laughs> It's pretty close, man. Well, the, the, on the, the Gallipo Bridge yeah. is shut down. Closed. Yeah, but closed. this bridge is close. When I came now, when I got there, Ivan and Chris had actually been working away for uh, a little while. And uh, when you heard us referring to potentially having to stay at Ivan's, that's because Ivan lives just off the island of Montreal in a city called Vaudreuil. And this spring... Montreal had experienced the worst flooding in a hundred plus years so one of the two bridges leading off of the island on the west end was actually closed and as I was driving out to Ivan's uh, the other bridge was about a foot or so away from being closed and as you can see here in this time lapse Ivan and Chris were once again working away on the HP2 Chris had crashed it at the Dakar rally which is a rally in Ontario, not to be confused with the Dakar rally in, in uh, South America. And he had punched a hole in one of his uh, valve covers, which had broke off one of the mounting lugs and let all the oil out, etc. And also smashed up the front end quite a bit. So he had managed to source a whole bunch of HP2 parts from a guy in British Columbia. And as for the rest of the players, uh, Jason was planning on coming over and doing the tubeless install on his rear wheel. He had done the front in our last installment, so stay tuned. Ivan, what were you complaining about? Grab your Ziploc there. <clears throat> I'm complaining about the thing. Oh, yeah. booster cables. So we can boost Chris's bike. Yes, the official the awesome players. Booster cable kit with quick nice. disconnects. And This is my third set. I but this is the first set I've had in my hands. Hey, you never came and picked them up. <laughs> Riley's been never told me I could sending them off to other people. <laughs> do you have a set? You have a set. I have the lead on my bike. Yeah, you, said, so you said you don't deserve to get the other yeah, part. Well, you you can't boost anybody. <laughs> We're never going to give you the other end because yours is always the dead bike. You don't need the other end. <laughs> <laughs> Help the man. It's going to need some spreadage. Oh, it is. It's the flag. For the official... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, turn it the other way. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Nice. I'm going to awesome. put this right in front of the house. <laughs> <laughs> you need a flagpole now. Yeah, got to get a flagpole, Bill. Oh wow, this is, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Press on the button. Of course, we're going to need some coffee, perhaps with a little bit of booster in it, but the machine was not preheated. It takes a while. All right, so we have some decision making to make. Uh oh, while we're still Decision sober. making? Decision making, so. What is the decision making that needs decision to be done? The decision making that needs to be performed is the following. Where the f is the piece? Ooh, so this is the new repaired boss? Yeah. <whistles> Except that we didn't, he didn't realize that this was a Oh, there was fit, a rubber. So I'm just going to cut it when I do Gasket, it that'll have to be cut. All right, so the, the question is this. Oh, do we take it off or sneak it in? Well, because I didn't realize we had this piece. I'd forgotten that we found it when it yes. came out. And this is the whole piece. Okay. Okay. So this is the tip. Just the tip and just for a minute? Just the tip. <laughs> right. And so inspecting the surface of this, yeah. it does not look like the chain has ever contacted it. So it may be irrelevant. I feel like it really is irrelevant. And the work to get this on is significant. Because this is the chain guide and where's that piece? That's this little chunk That's here? That's this at the tip. This is, the, this is what is doing the work. Right. This is maybe going to save it from being a little yeah. tiny bit louder at some point, but it's yeah. not going to stop it from... And, and basically, 
You so gotta, you got to get it off to get to replace this. We have to pull the head, pull the cylinder, disconnect the uh, disconnect the piston from the connecting, connecting rod, rod. Notch this heat. Oh, heat this because piece. you still can't get this bolt in without oh. taking off even more. Even if I, you, you have to take the cylinder yeah, off the that? connecting rod. I thought rod. we could do it like that now. No, no we, we're not changing that. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. No way. Oh, so, I thought I thought we could do it as is no, right now. We have to take we the, have to cylinder the cylinder and the piston, and the piston, and the piston off. off. So let's it. have a vote. I vote, really I vote that? we're not touching that. Spare parts for your new engine build next winter. Chris? That's what I, I think too. Because the, the, the way to do it, notch it. Yeah. yeah and then, you, then you take a sharp chisel, you oh. slide it down inside the engine and you whack it here. To snap the old And one. here to snap the old one off. <laughs> with a rag <laughs> covered in oil behind it to catch the bits. Oh, or man. you do as some other you know YouTuber did, yep. and you take a long screwdriver and you put a torch to it until it's smoking hot, and you, and melt, you it. melt the shit out of this until it comes off. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it looks like a lot. It sounds like a lot of fun. Actually, it, I mean, it's not my bike. <laughs> I, it would be fun to do that, knowing full well this bike would be on your front yard for a scrap pickup day next week. But yeah. I think, man, that sounds sketchy. <laughs> Do you want to ride your bike this time? I mean, time? especially, like, yeah. if you're saying on the old guide, like, on that piece, this is the well, original I piece. That is the original piece. I can't see. There's some yeah. scuffage a little bit, but if you look at the actual rail in the bike, you can see the markings on the edge where the chain has contacted. There are no markings. There's like, nothing. Well, this is brand new, but I there's know, nothing I'm just on saying, there. I'm there's, there's no difference. There's some scuffage, but that's not where the chain contacts. The chain contacts here and here, and there's no markings there. No. It's never contacted the chain. No. And actually, the chain would be contacting the here. Either. It would be inside here. Yeah, well, that's it. It would be, well, it would be, be on right the two there in, edges. In line with that edge, and there's nothing. There's nothing. All right, task number one completed. Woo! Hey, did you see my fancy forks? Ooh. So the forks are back from Stadium, and they got new guts. New guts. New prophylactics. New prophylactics. Ooh, new, new stickers. So what did they change? New bushings? They changed the bushings, they changed the innards. They left Dang. the springs. The springs were fine. Okay, and but it's well, actually came from them they actually changed the gas charged cartridge inside. There's no gas cartridge. Oh, these don't cartridge. have gas charged no. cartridges. No. Well, There's what do you expect innards. on such a cheap? Exactly. No, they're all uh, <laughs> all new innards. Cool. I got a bag of old innards. At home. <laughs> <laughs> so, despite not having had our coffee, and of course, coffee is nothing without a little boost, uh, we got the first decision of the day made to leave the broken tensioner in because it was just missing the tip and by then uh, Jason had rolled in so how are you getting home Jason once they close the other highway taking the 30 the long way fly. around it actually held nicely <laughs> yeah. despite our awesome jury rig setup for Chris's bike Ivan had actually fixed his lift that he bought used 3d printed just the latching mechanism to hold up the safety bar it's darker than a snake's asshole. Nice. Whoa! Oh, Whoa. safety. Ooh, actual mm. weldage. Safety first. Nice. Safety third. So that won't go down. Jason had come bearing gifts. Gifts? In, ca in, case, in case you didn't get your supply yet. SC1. Since that last time people were complaining Ooh. I was using too much brake cleaner, so I brought my what? own. People were complaining because you were sniffing it. it. It was the sniffage <laughs> of the brake cleaner, it was not the overuse. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Now, Jason had brought some unwanted sockets from some crappy set he had bought. And what we do is we collect all of these little metal bits and bobs, and we give it to Mark because Mark... Uh, makes trophies and little mechanical wonders out of all these little metal bits. So uh, everybody empties their garbage out for Mark and uh, we've got a little collection going for him. Swear that the long ones are what you need though, those aren't gonna do much. Jason, your ratchet is a flaccid, <laughs> a bad Dude. case of flaccid ratchet. The, the angle of the dang. And of course, being stereotypical Canadians, we had to have a few Timbits. Bucket o' Tims. Ooh, chocolate. Have you got a lot of crap in your orifice? Yes. There's more coming. Oh. Motion Pro. In action. Just a tip. Best 40 bucks he ever spent. 
<laughs> no, worth six bucks. Oh. Six dollar. Canadian? Yes. From Fort Nine. No remember, sponsorship. We, remember, kiddies, <laughs> we buy Canadian, made in China. <laughs> we buy all our Chinese by products. The US. <laughs> I know a lot of guys have said on like Adventure Rider that they get a, quite a bit of leakage. Yeah. Like they're pumping it up all the time. I know, I don't like leakage either. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it all depends what's leaking out. Where's the brake cleaner that you brought? It's usually whatever you put in. <laughs> Engaged, you better get your safety goggles on because uh, we just had a flying tire iron. I wouldn't stand that close. <laughs> take a nice chunk out of the wall. All right. Pull harder this time. Watch out for the pressurized canisters on the <laughs> I got that one on video. <laughs> There's an empty barrel of race fuel. Hey, luckily that can of gas stopped it. <laughs> While Jason was taking chunks out of the wall with his flying tire irons, the real excitement was happening where we were getting ready to bolt the top back on the HP2. Whatever what kind of, what goes in there? Just a gasket? Gasket. No goo? Just gasket. Now you have to keep in mind that uh, we're pretty comfortable changing tires, brakes, oil, but uh, the inside of the engine is still pretty scary for us. To be slightly more efficient, while Jason played with his tubeless system and Chris put his motor back together, I volunteered to uh, do a little bearing work on the front wheel of the HP2. I know some of you will find this hard to believe, but the wheel bearings in the front wheel of the HP2 were in pretty crusty shape, and we've had good success in the past heating up the hub to 150 or so degrees Celsius, and then uh, giving her the old whack with the slide hammer. It was the extra, the, the extra, yeah, dirty, the extra little love. Moved on from setting it on fire and hammering it to tightening stuff to, what's the setting, Chris? Eight Newton meters. Eight Newton meters with our Mongo torque Was this torque NASA wrench. calibrated torque wrench? Of course. Canadian tire calibrated. Canadian tire. Eight on the dot on every one of them. Unbelievable. According to the Chinese made door cringe. <laughs> Usual, but I wasn't expecting another one. It's not unusual. Alright, we're getting the HP2 back together. Trying. Optimistic. Good. Over we'll here. When we turn the engine over and it still doesn't go bang! We're getting the wheel bearings in, the new wheel bearings for the HP2. We cleaned out all the old crappy grease. Jason is putting There's another tubeless system in. There's only one dowel. How many cans of brake cleaner have we sprayed in here today? Three. Three? <laughs> no wonder I feel good. So Chris has got the top back on the motor and now he's going to torque it. Uh, oh. oh, it went red. 20.02. It goes red when you hit the number. Okay. Diagonalize it. So that means we don't have to already put a new head gasket? <laughs> you put the head gasket in there? Yep. Oh, Why is it sticking up? Does it stick up on the other side, the head gasket? It has a little tab that sticks out. Yeah. Give her, bud. This is just, we've got, we got to do this three times. Start from farther back, or use a wrench to get it. Does it really matter which corner you start with after you've done the opposite corner? Yeah, because gravity. <laughs> the weight of the head is pulling on that. It's going to give you a false reading. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking unplayable. Hey, attach that dirt, glue. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Jason, you need help. Nah. The kind of help he needs, we can't give. Yes. Well, now you know why they don't come from the factory with this shit. <laughs> we'll get back to you later. All right. <laughs> Jason, what tool were we not using? Not this. Ah, so what does that do? 
It, uh, the instructions okay, say so to put the rim to to fully into the tire. Diagonally, okay. and then 90 we got. Yes, but it's a bitch to do, unless you have this thing where you just slide it like so, and then it just slips into it. But now it's too late? Well, I don't need it anymore. Well, at least you got a free tool. Yeah, it's going on the garage wall. <laughs> We actually did end up using the tool because we had to kind of start over. And uh, it did help, but I can tell you this. The tubeless system uh, is a little bit tricky. And we learned quite a bit doing it. I think uh, the next time it would go a lot smoother. And I really hope with this tubeless system that you don't get flats because I would definitely not want to be playing with this on the side of the road. So now it's exactly 90 degrees? Yes. Yeah. Could you get a longer handle? <laughs> we were Jesus. worried that the shorter one might not be. Okay, be so you've done them all 90 now? Yeah. Now you do 90 again? Yep. Ooh, this is it, boys. Yep. Do we miss anything? Because that's going to suck. Nope. <laughs> no. Just give her. Okay, 90 degrees. Okay, we're horizontal. This is the final tightening torque. Remember, snap it, back off an eighth of a turn. Ooh. That was 80, 88, 89, 90. Good. All right, three more to go. We're horizontal. That's a scary uh, torque. <laughs> All right. No. Give her 90 degrees. Not quite. Yep. 90. Oh, yeah. It's kind of quiet in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You want it. Everybody wants to hear the snap. Fuck. We're rooting for it. Come on. Snap. Snappy, snap, snap. Snap. <laughs> one last one. The first three always work because they want to give you hope. Yeah. And then it's all shattered. Uh -huh. yep. And he's going to snap and he's going to hit his hand on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know this thing's in the way. Cut his finger off. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. Done. How do you feel? How wet are your I feel like I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> After successfully torquing the cylinder head, we actually found a bolt that had been missing. How long has it been there? Since we pulled Since it apart. Probably. It apart. Or missing some bolt. asshole picked it up and put it there. The missing bolt's been sitting there for a month? Yes. Yeah, and it's supposed to go there. It's supposed there. to go right it's there. It's in the engine. And it's been sitting here balanced for a month. Yeah. I was going to say, it, has, well, it, has, it was obviously a good spot. Then it was time to air up Jason's tubeless system. And you can see all these bubbles coming out. It was actually just leaking until the uh, high pressure tube sealed the tire against the rim. But we did notice once we had it aired up, we could still hear a little hissing. Something's leaking. It's the oh, valve. The this... <laughs> it's going to be hard to ride like this. It doesn't <laughs> leak very much. Well, maybe it's just not well... Uh, As you... <gasps> it's your tightened. motion pro... Oh. Huh. Yeah! It was loose! Check it, Bill. Is that nothing? Or is that a high pressure gauge? 20. Yeah, so that's a high pressure gauge. Use it on the use it on the high pressure circuit. I'm gonna check on one of these down here. Yeah. If I do this down here, it's holy Cialis. 90. Yeah, Perfect. it's not quite high enough. What's it gotta be at? 110, 120. Okay. Alright, give her. Since well, we were on a roll, we decided to change the bearings in Jason's rear wheel. Okay. Okay, put the seal back All in, right, she's good. Yep. In. No need to fuss with that. <laughs> well, under all that crud, there's actually a circlet. Under all that crud is actually some rust. <laughs> oh, there is, yeah, circlet. Wow. Okay, that's not... We can put the TBC pin. Good. You want to take the other seal out while you're in seal mode? Right there. Right there. And you slide in a... Where's that long silver mm, one? Not quite as bad. Not as bad. Come on. Come on. Are they too big? Hmm, I think they are. You got her. Watch out. My eye. Yeah. I hate these things. 
Nice. Okay, so what's the number one rule of loosening that bolt? Is it all lined up though? The gear and the gear lined it up and everything. Yes, and it's all nice and. Never yeah. use an impact on this, or what happens? You break the tensioner. What happened? We broke the tensioner. <laughs> oh, the slider. Well, the the slide. Yes. Just the tip. The, the just slide, the tip. The slide just the rail. Tip. Just the tip of the slide rail. Just the tip and feel every second. The tip. Okay, so. Okay, give her. Give her. Sixty-five, huh? Yeah. That's what it said. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Man, you're way out. Come on, Dunzee. You sure the wrench is on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, getting there. 35. 40. Oh, Jesus. It's the longest bolt in the world. Oh, Beat okay. It. Where are we going to? 65? 65. One smooth torque. Oh, I'm not as good. 65.6. Woo! Yeah. You've never done why are, it. Why are we needlessly changing wheel bearings? Ah, that's nothing to do. We can't I mean, ride, so this is second best to riding. It's maintenance. Yeah. This sand it's looks fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this still had a couple more kilometers in it. Yeah, a couple. Maybe three. Three. So. We had a little issue where the motor wouldn't turn over. We think we're 90 degrees out of whack. So we got to get that gear off. Even if we get it off, I don't know how we're going to rotate the cam. No, we rotate the engine. That's not going to... Oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We rotate the engine, leave the cam where it is. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. One, 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 we got to rotate one or the other. Yeah, I guess so. All right. We... We repositioned the sprocket in the actual right place, we think. And now Ivan is rotating something, the engine. And nothing's happening to the valves. Well, it's on... <laughs> Chris is trying to maintain bowel integrity. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of stress here. Awfully accurate, actually. He's already talking about buying a new bike. That's his confidence level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that once around already? I think that's already yeah, But I haven't seen these valves move yet. Yeah, they're not moving. I hear it on the other side, it's no. doing all kinds of stuff. It ain't doing shit. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not, well it's not uh, rotating your camshaft. It's just rotating the... Yeah, it's not. It's not. No, the bolt's not turning! Exactly. Ivan, the bolt's not turning. <laughs> You're just... <laughs> ah, the bolt wasn't turning. <laughs> so, we gotta order a new sprocket. Ah, well, we're learning. BMW. Chris, learning! Ivan, learning? Yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew you weren't learning. <laughs> I, I just resent the, the the use of the word we. What's your password again there? It had nothing to do with this. Well, you realized oh, it wasn't turning. Was <laughs> You're the one who figured out that we were just <laughs> turning the sprocket and the engine wasn't turning because the little, show us the little nub. The range out of it. It's just super slow. So, this little... Raised, uh, raised area to used to go all the way through. Pass, pass. And, and we that acted as a we, key. We squished it by accident. Yes, quite nicely. Eh? Uh, yep. With 60 Newton meters of force. <laughs> oh well. So we got to buy another one. Is that what we did to it? Yeah. 60 Newton meters? Yep. Ooh, yeah, that explains it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So Chris's bike will not be rolling out of here today. That's for sure. <laughs> Drop it. This is a $50. Oh, tap damn. it. Tap it. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick! Quick! quick. Bottom, it's bottom. Good. You sure? Yeah, I heard it. Like it. One more time. <laughs> Chris, whose bike is this we're working on? Oh, man. <laughs> <It> ain't mine. <laughs> Ivan's gonna own it soon. <laughs> hey, what do you charge per day for storage? Uh, 50 bucks? Oh, yeah, he's, he owned it I like... it was 5%. He owned it bike. five days in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, flip it while she's hot. I love these El Chico. Okay, we got to put the spacer in, right? <laughs> Not to forget this. Where's right the spacer? There. Actually, this is... Hurry no, spacer, up! Spacer, spacer. Oh, hey, hey, spacer! <laughs> forget the spacer. We're going to be sad. Is that in? Yep, that's in. I'm just going to get it kind of straight. All right. Ish. Mm, is that so really nice the way it go? All right. Oh, tap it! See that? Why does it sound bottomed? Because it's on the spacer. Mm, I 
what way we were supposed to do it. Chris, Chris asked us to do this in a specific way. Yeah, you did it right. Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> picture quality. All right, Chris, get in here, Bill. We gotta do our wrap up. Talk loud, cause the speaker's far. Oh, where's? We're missing somebody. Ivan, you're not in there. Oh, there he is. All right, let's All right. do our wrap up. So, came over to Ivan's to. Uh, we got the tubeless Mess system the in. Yeah. So Jason, you're mess. good. Yeah. Seems like too much trouble at the moment, but we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, and, you don't look convinced. And then no. we got the wheel bearings in Chris's front wheel for the HP2. And then, uh, Chris. Chris, what disaster happened? We didn't have any disasters. We put the front forks on. Shall we show you <laughs> the sprocket? <laughs> the front fork. Here's a sprocket. <laughs> and we, we fucked up a... Whoops, sorry. We screwed up a uh, cam chain sprocket by torquing it down when it was not in its groove. But we'll luckily, do, that's but not that's a okay. critical part. No, no. Should oh, be good. I'm gonna keep going the, the, the worst, wrong way. the worst wood rough groove keyed. Yeah, it was not a piece great of design. machining ever seen. I mean, it was pretty obvious there was a notch, and we were supposed to put it in the notch, but we just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> BMW, shame on you. But the good news is they haven't been stock, so it's obviously we're they not the won. only idiots. <laughs> they won. <laughs> Not the only one. <laughs> and, uh, and now, well, once you fuck up one, design. you won't fuck up the second yes, one. Usually. Exactly. And now we're gonna go see if we can get off, uh, get back onto the, the island, island of Montreal island. because it's all been flooded. So the rivers are at a record high. So uh, one of the bridges onto the island is closed, and the other ones have got about eight inches left before it closes. So we're gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, surf's up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.